I love you so much. Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. And this video today is going to be a Bible scripture and reflection to start your day off. So I'm so excited to be here with you guys. You guys remember this hairstyle from back, back in the day, y'all? Yes, I'm, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Yep, surely is. It is. Comment down below, it is. <laughs> Happy Friday, angels. Are y'all excited for Friday? I mean, what, what are y'all doing? Like, I'm really just doing the same old, same, you know, staying in position, trying to stay focused. You know, I got some important things I need to take care of earlier in the day and then the rest of the day. Um, hopefully, I'll be with you guys. So, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. So, first of all, before we dive into this word, I just want to take a second to welcome all my new angels. Hey, angels. Welcome to the family, okay? Welcome to the tribe. I just want to thank you guys for showing each other so much love and support, right? So, the last few messages that I received from the Lord has been really heavy, right? And it's so important that we love and support each other. And I don't know if you guys seen one of my angels' comments on the channel, but... Um, it was actually a guy too and he was just saying like we are his only family so he really enjoys coming by the channel and being able to get the word of God and being able to mix it up with you guys and stuff like that so it's so important because you guys are literally building friendships divinely guided friendships through this platform so glory be to God so we are officially at 35,000 angels actually we're a little more than that okay because our God is so amazing but my God but my God God is so amazing do you hear me so that's why I had to um, throw my hair up so I could do my dance like mm. <laughs> so I just wanted to remind you guys that this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it comment down below one thing that you guys are grateful for now okay and I'm going to invite God in dear Heavenly Father I just want to thank you Lord Jesus I just want to thank you for such a wonderful Friday Lord Jesus I want to thank you for a new day with your new grace and your new mercy Lord Jesus Ask that you help me to dive into this word today, Lord Jesus, and help it to all make sense, Lord Jesus. Ask that you lead all of my angels to this video who needs to see this video today, Lord Jesus. Ask that your will be done with this video in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. Comment down below, amen, so I know it's real. Okay, angel, so this is the scripture that the Lord led me to today. He led me to Isaiah 30, 21, and it says, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is is the way walk in it glory be to god so god bless the word today so what this scripture is saying angels this is saying that whether you turn to the right or to the left it doesn't matter which direction that you're looking in it doesn't matter which direction that you are going in it really doesn't matter because the holy spirit is within you and because the holy spirit is within you he's going to lead you and guide you glory be to god he's going to be directing your steps this is what god is saying today and our god is just such an amazing god that he gives us like this gps okay i feel like it's a holy spirit GPS. GPS. This is your God tuition. And what it is, is it's literally the Holy Spirit inside you. And he's going to show you which way that you need to go. Okay. It's that little still voice that says, no, don't go there. No, go straight. Okay. Abort this mission. Don't do this. Okay. Don't go out with this person. Stay home today. This is God leading us and guiding us. Right. So from my personal experience, angels, and you guys know, I got to tell y'all, um, I feel like I've always been chosen by God. Right. I've always known of God, but I've never had a personal relationship with him. Him, right I've been Christian all of my life so this is the first time that I'm actually able to say I have a personal relationship with God right so now I understand what it means when they say that God wants for us to dwell in him and for him to dwell in us right because there's no way that God can dwell in you if it's not an atmosphere for God to dwell in and you can never dwell in God if you're not constantly seeking for him and you're not actually in a place to actually hear him and to surrender to him comment down below at least I get that if it makes sense to you guys so what happens is as you start to read your Bible as you start to get more in tune with God as you start to seek for him right God is going to show you exactly who he is right he's going to show himself present in your life so this is when you're going to be able to hear more from God this is when you're going to be able to see more of his miracle signs and wonders this is where you're going to be able to see like wow God is here with me he's here he's with me I'm not alone like he's really leading me and guiding me and he'll show himself true to you because the things that you've asked for in private in a private place right in that secret praying room he'll start to to answer those prayers for you and show you 
a little ways like see i heard your prayer you know what i'm saying and it could be something as small as you know like uh, i'm dragging today i'm really tired and you know i really hate to start my day without coffee and then god will show you a way that you know he heard your prayer right so when you get to work that day one of your co-workers are end up bringing in like a big thing of coffee and it's like oh here alicia i thought about you this morning i know you love your coffee girl and it's like wow okay thank you god because i know only you heard that conversation that we had this morning right so for a lot of people at the beginning of their journey they feel like i can't hear god like god where are you i can't hear you what is this god like say something to me help me right but as you keep seeking for god right and as you align your life up in your environment to that which is pleasing of God, right? And as you start to submit yourself, God will make sure it is that you hear him, right? Because he's already communicating with you. You just have to be in that space and in that place to actually be able to be receptive and actually listen to what it is that he's saying to you. So I am so grateful that on this Friday, we have our Lord and Savior, our God, to be our GPS, literally, to tell you which way it is that you need to go. Because literally, who am I talking to today? How frustrating is it when you feel like you don't hear from God when you feel like you don't know which way to go, which way to turn, God, what is it that I should do? How frustrating is that, angels? So God sent me here to tell you guys today that his light shall shine upon you today. Okay, angels, enough of that. Let's take a second to reflect. Angels, so it's reflection time. And it says throughout scripture, we read how God spoke to countless people directing their paths and guiding them in the way they should go. While the way God speaks to you today may be a little different, not quite so audible. Mm, I, I would say I disagree with that because God communicates with me very audible and in very different ways right so I guess that really depends on your relationship with God or how he choose to communicate with you because really God could communicate with you in any way okay okay enough rambling Alicia so he nevertheless still communicates with you and leads you in the way he desires glory be to God this requires you to be still to listen, to engage with him in prayer, and to recognize how you feel. Listen for that still, small voice, glory be to God, confirmation. That gentle whisper from him. If you align with him and his word and feel peace about a decision, trust that it is the right one. And God is so good. And God always confirms the word, right? Because what I do is I always reflect on the scripture right after I read it, before I even read the reflection. But everything is always in alignment. So what God is saying today is that he's here for you right and he will direct your ways he will guide your steps and all it is that you're doing and I feel led to say that there's something that you've been praying about and trusting God for an answer on this thing like it's a decision that you've been wanting to make right this is what God is saying today just listen for that response from God listen for that gentle whisper that, that is what they are saying today they're saying it's a gentle whisper my relationship with God my, my it's, it's not really like a really gentle whisper I can understand why they will put it that way because a lot of times God does communicate in a still voice it's like a small still voice you know what i'm saying it's like who it's in the spirit it's somebody comment down below it's, it's a spirit okay because it's literally like back here okay is where it's at but literally it's not always a gentle whisper because our god communicates directly okay he will say no he will say yes he will say stop he will say don't go there he will literally communicate to you so i feel led to say that god is going to be giving you an answer that you have been waiting for and what i want to say to you guys is to trust god's judgment okay trust that this is the right decision whether you agree with what it is that god says or not and that is the big part about this right we understand that although we don't always agree with what it is that God says and the ways that he lead and direct us but we know that God is in full control we know and we trust that it's for his will to be done in our life right y'all okay and just so although I love spending time with you guys I got to get on with my day I love you guys so much I have to leave you guys with some questions to reflect on so let's just dive into the questions so have you ever found yourself faced with choices and feeling unsure of the right path maybe it's a job change a decision to move somewhere else a financial decision a health choice or even a change in a relationship how did you make a final decision about what to do do you go to god when you feel unsure 
And have you ever felt God directing your steps? Glory be to God. Make sure you guys comment down below, right? Because understand that we are a tribe and this is where we learn and we grow in the goodness of God. Glory be to God. So a lot of times when you comment something, you might think like, oh, this is so second nature. Duh, everybody knows this. But no, everybody don't know it, right? And we are all enlightening each other. So a lot of times people will go down into the comments and be like, wow, that's so deep. I didn't know that. And then y'all start to communicate and build a friendship from there. So make sure you comment down below. Leave me some feedback. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I pray that you guys have a beautiful and prosperous Friday. And I will see you guys tonight with the prophetic word. Bye, Joes.